All right, so if you've seen my previous video, you know that I absolutely love my V8 Audi S4. And I gave about 10 things that I do love about the car. But there are a few things that I wouldn't say I hate about the car, but I definitely do dislike. And these things just pretty much come with owning a high mileage V8 Audi S4 from 2011. All right, so the first thing I wanna talk about with this car is the maintenance. Every part on this car is absolutely expensive. So things I replaced on this car so far will be the Mechtronic transmission around what $6,500. The whole transmission itself, another $5,000. Um, control arms, I bought those used. So they're about, I would say 35 bucks a piece, but those cost about 200 plus brand new. Any bolts on this car are expensive. So any of the maintenance related things on this car are absolutely expensive. So your oil changes, your spark plugs, your DSG uh, transmission maintenance, pretty much tires, brake pads. It'll be around $500 for your simple um, maintenance things and then up to a thousand to $5,000 for your more serious services or maintenance things with the car. But that pretty much comes with owning a German car, especially a high mileage car. I have 118,000 miles on this car so far. I've only put like 400 miles on it because I bought it at auction. So when you buy when you buy an Audi S4 or a German car in general, especially an old German car, you have to be prepared for those high maintenance fees and just any part on the car that's probably gonna break anytime soon. All right, so the next thing I don't like about this car is the top end speed. So as you might know, the Audi S4 V8 is actually a supercharged V6. So your lower RPMs, let's say 1,000 to maybe 3,000 RPMs, 4,000 RPMs, you're gonna feel insane torque. So first, second gear, the car is gonna put you into the back of the seat. Once you get past like, let's say 40 miles per hour and you're pushing like what, 3,000 RPMs, you, you don't really feel that much torque anymore. And I'm not sure if it's because the car is old, it needs a tune up, I probably need new spark plugs and those sorts of things. But the top end on this car is just not really it's not really pulling as hard as you expect a supercharged V6 to honestly pull, especially at such a low speed and such low RPMs. All right, the next thing I don't enjoy about this car is the gas mileage. It is absolutely horrendous. So every pull you do in this car, let's say even like a mild acceleration to get on the toll or something like that, every pull you do will be about 10 miles off of your like your projected distance. So I can't really tell what the miles per gallon on this car is right now because my MMI is currently non-operative. But for reference, I drive this car normally most of the time and even with like, you know, casual accelerations. The tank of gas usually lasts about one week and maybe a week in like three days at best, which is absolutely horrendous. Now, granted, I do need new spark plugs. Uh, my catalytic converter is also failing. So there's multiple things that play into that. But besides those factors right there, it burns gas like no other car I've driven. So absolutely horrendous. And that's pretty much what you gotta expect with a supercharged car. It's gonna, it's gonna burn gas. All right, so next on the list is actually the transmission. So uh, you may not know, the transmission in this car is excellent for performance purposes. So lightning fast shifts like a millisecond every time you press the shift pedal, it's going to shift. But the one thing you don't like about this car is pretty much driving it slow. So I'm in comfort mode right now. And I'm probably in a like what third year maybe. And we come to a stop, let's say a yield sign, which is kind of where I'm at right now. And you give it some gas, it's gonna, I kind of exaggerate there, but the car did, it lurched forward like I was trying to downshift. Cause it thought I was about to stop. So while it was downshifting, I was giving it gas and it didn't know what gear it wanted to be in and it kind of threw me into a gear and that's where you get that little lurch from. So at the low speeds and kind of coming to a stop, the transmission is not so good in that aspect. But new technology is out. You can obviously get that tune uh, to your liking. And of course the car is actually still learning my driving style. So it probably adjusts over time. But that's just the main thing with the transmission. Just every time you're driving in comfort mode and trying to obey the speed laws and it's driving casually, you know, and you're going for a stop, the car just doesn't know what to do. But other than that, the transmission is absolutely solid in that aspect. All right, so last thing on the list, number five will be the weight of this car. So as I said before, or in previous videos, this car is a supercharged V6, all wheel drive quattro system, absolute monster of a car. And with all these uh, pretty much 
luxuries and sports packages, you get quite a bit of weight added on to the car. So this car is around, it's pretty close to 4,000 pounds in total. Now, that's a lot of weight. So previously, as some of you guys might know, my old car was a Mercedes-Benz C300 W204 from the same year, 2011. That car was only about 3,500 pounds. And it is a Benz, it's pretty heavy, but all in all, compared to this car right here, this is insanely heavy, almost 500 pounds more than my old car. And you can feel every single one of those pounds while driving this car. Now, if you never drove a lighter car, you probably can't tell the difference from the jump. But every time you take a corner in this car, you can feel all 4,000 pounds being swung into the corner. It's like driving a boat almost. And I'm not sure if other people would describe it like that, but it literally feels like I'm driving a boat. My old Mercedes, it was low in the front, rear wheel drive, you can kind of just throw it into corners and it would take it like a champ. You really wouldn't feel too much weight. But with this car, you can feel every bit of that weight in the corners. And luckily with this car, you have the wing back seats, which actually hold you in place pretty nicely when you're taking it around the corner. So a lot of things that I don't particularly like about the car can be fixed with performance upgrades. So top end speed, the way that shifts, all those things can pretty much be uh, enhanced with the tune and other performance parts. But besides those five things that I mentioned, this car, I absolutely love it. High gas mileage, yeah, it might burn a lot of oil, but honestly, it's just a fast, exciting car. It makes beautiful noises. And I'm literally in love with this car. I have a lot more work to do on this car. As you see, it looks pretty rough in the front. A lot of uh, paint scratches and different things like that. It still needs a bunch more parts and upgrades, but I bought this car uh, in July 2023 on auction for about $4,000 and it's come a very long way if you want to see the whole progression of this car go ahead subscribe to my channel like this video and then check out my previous videos to see more about the audi s4 and kind of what i went through to get it to this point if you have any questions about the audi s4 or anything else i do on my channel maintenance performance things anything like that feel free to leave a comment in the comment section below i'll get back to you and hopefully i can help you out other than that thanks for watching